now we're going to install the G-Force flywheel. And I guess you all wonder why the hell I did paint my flywheel. But I have a good reason and you will understand soon. But first, let me install it. I hope you're all doing good. In today's video, I'm gonna present you my new sponsor, UniClutch, and I will explain why the hell did I paint my flywheel. So as you can see, this is a G-Force Performance flywheel with the adapter plate uh, to fit to a 300ZX transmission. It's really a nice flywheel kit, and I really want to preserve it. You know, I know like with the humidity and the dust, it will eventually rust, but you're like, yeah, but how about your clutch? It's gonna rub on the paint and scrap your clutch. Well, I'm gonna show you why UniClutch is different from the regular clutch that you usually see. All right, so starting the unboxing, I'm gonna start with a small step. There we go, UniClutch cap. So now I'm a good uh, UniClutch represent, and I will show why this clutch is a game changer. I really like the boxing. It feels like I just bought like a camera gimbal kit or something fancy, UniClutch. The track edition, it's a, a twin plate. So there's a, the base version, the sport version, the track edition. And then after that, there's a off-road uh, for off-roaders truck. The track edition for GDM cars can hold over 1,300 foot-pounds of torque. So it's really good for performance car. But despite that high power capability, uh, this clutch apparently is super comfortable to drive. It doesn't feel like driving uh, a race clutch at all, apparently. Uni clutch is a subdivision from Clutch Industry, which is a well-known clutch company in Australia. They're making clutch for over 70 years. So I trust that product is really well made because that company is established all around the world. They're making clutch for many cars. Uh, for a long time, so I guess they have really a good experience of what they're doing. But also what would make it more interesting is that UniClutch is 100% made in Australia. So the factory and uh, the, the home office is in Australia. Uh, so the quality control is really strict there. So what make it also really cool about UniClutch is they were actually developing and testing that clutch for over seven years before to being released. So last year, I think they re officially released it and all the review yet are really positive. The people love the feeling of that clutch. And despite this one being the track edition to be able like, oh, like over 1,300 foot pounds of torque, it doesn't drive like a, like a track car clutch. Um, most of the people like mentioned that it feels like driving like almost stuck organic clutch. It's barely harder to press on the pedal uh, then like almost like a stock clutch and when you release it doesn't snap like a, a racetrack car so this is really interesting because I will be able to test the product on my K20 uh, it, it, since the, that one is the 300ZX that will run on the streets it will have about uh, 400 horsepower because it's gonna be a K20 turbo uh, I will be able to drive that clutch on the streets and really feel like how it's driving and see if it's really comfortable but if I look the review it's all positive um, for real I can't wait to put uh, that clutch on the trial and see how it feels like so what is really cool they also give me a second one that one will be used Used for the VH45. The VH45 will be turbo too, and it will sh should be around 800 horsepower. This will be a drift competition car, so I will be able to test really the difference between like a street car and a real competition car. Oh, so now we're gonna unbox the second box that come with, and of course, with all solid companies. They have to send you stickers. Stickers are always important. And oh yeah, they send hair freshener. I can't wait to see if this smells good. I love when they, they do that. And you have here uh, a small introduction plan uh, explaining uh, a little bit of details on the installation. But there's also the QR code right here 
this you just have to scan you enter your car models and which clutch you choose so and they will actually provide you a full installation kit for your car then here you will have your adapter ring when you're buying one of their clutch you will have to specify the model so the gdm clutch will fit like most of GDM cars for the size, but then they will have your adapter ring. So this ring apparently is good to make a Nissan 300ZX non-turbo, SR20 and RB and yeah, it's making few Nissans with the small uh, clutch style because I know the twin turbo actually is a little bit bigger. If you have a twin turbo flywheel actually, you will have a different ring. Here's uh, something also important. It's the spline adapter. So in the spline adapter, you will have to check which one fit your transmission because uh, if you're running like different transmission, so me, I'm gonna confirm, I have my transmission. I can check. Yeah, that's the correct one. So we're gonna do the install process in the same time. So I have confirmed this one fit. You basically insert this. And there any explain which side you have to fit and then you have your C clip right here. There we go. So you make sure it's tight. So we all know how a clutch working. You have your pressure plate right here. And then you have your disc right here. And as you can see, my flywheel looks like crap because it's a flywheel from a car that is like 200,000 kilometers. So yeah, the flywheel looks really bad, but as you can see here, the uni clutch using his own surface inside the, the unit. So, and it's all sealed inside and everything is like assembly in Australia, 100%. So it's like good quality control you will be sure it's always the same clutch. Every time you replace the clutch and get another uni clutch, it will be the same spec, the same response, and always the same behavior you get. Uh, so basically, um, you will get your adapter ring, and then I already checked, mine is G. Mine is probably this one. All right, so as you can see, it fits right in this spot. And then I can show you the alignment. There we go. So this is how it's gonna look like at the end once it's installed. Uh, so now the step will be to just like install the bolts. It's a little nice blanket, protect the clutch. And it's also helping to have the clutch not sliding around. All right, so you get your bolts, and uh, the bolts actually have already like a thread lock on it, but the um, manufacturer um, actually recommend to have the Loctite 243. So um, you have to add some Loctite on it. Then I'm gonna torque this. This is a cheap impact, so it doesn't really torque at all. <laughs> now you can torque spec correctly. The torque spec on these is um, 30 uh, Nm. Yes. Newton meat. All right. There we go. As simple as that. And then you take uh, the grease that come with it. You put it inside the spline. And uh, now we're gonna do the installation on the flywheel. So for the installation, usually I want to install on the K20. So the only reason why I'm not gonna today uh, bolt it on the K20 is actually I'm missing, um, I forgot how they called it, but it's kind of like nipples, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's like a metal pin, you have three metal pin. I forgot to order them since it's a new flywheel. Actually, when you get the uh, G-Force, they usually uh, can have them, uh, but you have to get them separately, and I forgot to mention them. But it's okay, I order it at Nissan dealer, so I'm gonna have them and uh, install it. But now I'm gonna just show you on the clutch, the original 300ZX. Because anyway, 
this one, I will actually use it for uh, the VH45. So it's fine. I will install it on it. All right, there we go. That's simple as that. You just take your uh, pressure plate, the uh, original bolt, and you uh, tie this all around like you will normally do. As you can see, the installation is really easy to do. It's pretty much simple process. I think it's gonna be a game changer also for the people doing competition because let's say you're a drift competition or track uh, competition, and then you really need to replace your transmission really fast and you need to centerize usually the clutch disc on a regular clutch system. But in the uni clutch, their um, system make it that the discs are decentralized all the time so it's make it really easy so this thing you know like that thing we're all trying to use and then you try to adjust the best as you can to make the disc centerize it but end up it's always struggling to put back the transmission well you don't need this you can toss that thing out and uh, put it in a garbage and with the uni clutch it's gonna be really much more simple because they're decentralized so you can just step back the transmission on the holes and it's really easy. For real, I can't wait to try it on my uh, street car and on the competition car. Since they sent me two track edition, it's gonna be fun to compare how it's go on the street car and on the competition drift cars. Uh, for real, I think the product is really solid. Um, if you're curious about the product, don't hesitate to comment and ask questions. Otherwise, you can always go see their website, uniclutch.com. Uh, they have a lot of details on their website. Uh, the price also is really good for a twin plate. And one of the cool thing is, you know, like a racing clutch on the guys having GZX or like Toyota, Supras, whatever. And it's like having that weird rattles and like it's annoying. Well. You know, with these system are all seals with stem of spring that help to make avoid all that noise. So you will be happy to have a quiet clutch that is not making a bunch of weird noise, no matter which sports car you're getting. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, ask in the comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. It's really appreciated. And uh, we're gonna stay uh, tuned and updated for the K20 installation in the Z and the V uh, H45 in the other drift competition car. So drive safely and see you next time. Ciao.